New developments in the mysterious deaths of three Americans in the Dominican Republic. Investigators there are now releasing preliminary autopsy results. Tom Yamas is just back from the DR with the story. Good morning, Tom. Michael, good morning to you. We were hoping to have more clarity by now, and though we have new details this morning, the spark that set off those medical emergencies at a popular vacation destination remains a mystery. This morning, Preliminary autopsy results for those three American tourists who died in the Dominican Republic are now raising more questions than answers. The report, released by the DR's Public Ministry Office, indicating 41-year-old Miranda Warner suffered a type of cardiac arrest that led to respiratory failure at the Bahia Principe Resort. Werner died in her room just two hours after checking in with her husband. Her family saying she experienced acute physical distress and collapsed immediately after having a drink from the mini bar. Just five days later, 63-year-old Nathaniel Holmes and his fiance, 49-year-old Cynthia Day, were found dead inside of their room in an adjoining property on the resort. You got a video? Yes. That's right. Cindy, you got to do something. Canoeing this video together. shows them kayaking a day before they died. Authorities in the Dominican Republic citing pre-existing health conditions, saying Holmes and Day had enlarged hearts and livers. They also say blood pressure medicine was found inside of the room along with an opioid and anti-inflammatory medication. Preliminary autopsy findings showing they both died from organ and respiratory failure. But it's still unclear what led to the fatal medical issues in all three cases. The DR's Minister of Tourism suggesting all three deaths could have been coincidences, an unfortunate series of events. La inspección que realiza the minister saying they regularly inspect hotels for safety, examining their hygiene, kitchens, and ventilation systems. And moments ago, the families of Cynthia Day and Nathaniel Holmes just sent us this statement, thanking the community and promising an update as soon as they have new information. And sadly, the warning of a fake GoFundMe page, the one the families are using is entitled Lost Family Member. Michael. All right, thank you so much, Tom. We're going to bring in Chief Medical Correspondent Dr. Jennifer Ashton. And I'm going to ask you, some of the autopsy results, they point to changes right. in the body. So what do you make of that? Well, this is not a surprise to anyone in the medical profession, Michael. The, the things that we're hearing in the preliminary autopsy report are changes that are caused by death. They are not the cause of death. Those are very, very different things. And these are changes that we expect to see post-mortem, so no surprises there. And we heard Tom talk about uh, the report and these underlying conditions. Is that uh, that unusual? I, I, well, I was just saying to George, this, in my opinion, is a true, true and unrelated. People can have chronic conditions that eventually can contribute to their death, but the chronic conditions that were mentioned in this preliminary autopsy report, not something that you would expect to cause sudden death in people who are well enough mm. to be on vacation. So, so again, really kind of doesn't add up. So what more do we need to know here? We really need the toxicology report, George, and that could take four to six weeks. There are some substances that potentially may not be detectable on toxicology report because you're looking at bodily fluids and tissues, but that's going to be really, really important. And again, someone can suffer a cardiac arrest or organ failure as a result of something else. So there are still some missing pieces here and we need more and information. Chances, this is all a coincidence? You know, in science, we try to go by fact, not kind of, you know, alignment of the planets. And there, there are just a, a lot of things here that aren't lining up right now. Such yeah. a mystery. Yeah. Okay, Dr. Ashton, thank you so much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.